Hey, my buddy Rick just had uh, knee surgery and he's recovering. So I'm chatting with him right now. And even though he's recovering, he's still practicing. So that's kind of, it means he's a guitar player, no doubt. So he's working on a Beatles song here, there, and everywhere. So I'm looking at my copy of this book which I do give copies of that to my guitar students if they mention the Beatles. So, this is, uh, I think John Lennon said this is one of their best songs they ever did. The timing, you, you have to kind of know the song, but um, I have tried to perform it in the past. It's like... And you're back to another verse. So it's like intro, verse 1, verse 2, bridge 1, verse 3, bridge 2, verse 4, coda. Um, let me play the coda. Sort of like that. So, you know, it's a handful of chords. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 chords. That's why I recommend Beatles songs, because they're going to force you to learn some chords. And the songs are not too shabby. They're reasonably good songs. I think most of us could agree there's a couple of good ones in there. <laughs> um, so... Let's, let's just break down the intro. It's a G to B minor, then B flat, A minor 7, D7. So those are, it's kind of free time. It's not really locking into the beat, but the, um, the verse, is the, I, I made a, I, I sort of interpret the rhythm to be like kind of a, so I'm kind of going boom, boom, strum, a boom, boom, strum. The boom is the bass, like a, I'm not just going, I'm kind of hitting maybe two or three bass notes there of the, the lower notes of the G chord. I kind of go, And then a uh, A minor, B minor, C. So it's important to know your bass note of the chord and be able to isolate it. So uh, I'll do that verse kind of slow. G, A minor, B minor, C, G, A minor. B minor, C, now it's F sharp minor 7, to B7, again F sharp minor 7 to B7, B7, E7, 
minor, A minor, A minor 7, D7. Okay, let's break out the metronome on that uh, verse. So I'm going to tap in what I feel is a good metronome or a good tempo. One, two, three, four, fifty-nine, two. Here's a verse. Get more expressive with your strumming, you know. If it, I might go. So I was getting a little more creative there, but I suppose it's pretty simple. It might be just, you could simplify it like. That might be a good step is just go bass, strum. Let me do that again. Bass, strum, bass, strum. good practice you know just building a little bit of uh, you know just getting that timing down on those chords with, with your fretting hand and the strumming hand they have to work together and that takes some practice um, I'm gonna cut this short and if anybody wants the bridge let me know all right thank you for checking it out